Once again, I feel the pull of the abyss. Once again, show me the will of the sun, that I may finish what you started. Artorius, the abyss walker. Long ago, there was a knight. Artorius was his name. He was everything a knight is supposed to be. He was noble, loyal to his friends, part of something bigger. More than anything in his life, he loved his faithful wolf, Sif. His brother, his friend, his companion. When town of Ulusil was threatened by the abyss and fall, Manus, lord of abyss, Artorius took up his sword and together with his faithful companion Sif, rushed to save Princess Dusk. He didn't succeed. In his last moments, he gave up his shield to protect his friend, his arm broken, his spirit down. He was taken by the abyss, corrupted to serve its darkness. He became only a shell of his former self. Corruption spread and town of Olusil fell. Artorius was struck by nameless undead. Again and again he fought until he defeated the greatest of the fourth, until Artorias was on his knees. Nameless and dead freed Sif and defeated Manus, only to kill Sif years later while he was protecting his master's body. To ensure Abyss would never take anyone again, to ensure no town or nation would fall to its vile corruption, a brotherhood was created. In the darkest of night, brave men and women made an oath. They were mere soldiers no more. From that day on, they became the Abyss Watchers, leaders of undead legion, ready to take down kingdoms and nations, ready to burn and destroy heresy, waiting and watching. They needed only a sign, just a sign that there was the slightest exposure to Abyss and they would come. Bearing a flag of undead legion, they would come with their great swords, their armor light and strong, their faces shrouded in cover, their helmets spreading terror on sight. With Faron rings they would be able to endure their fights much longer. Corruption must end. They all shared the blood with Wolf Blood Master. They were one being now. He was first of the Abyss Watchers. He was Artorius the Abyss Walker. They were second, the third, the fourth and so on. They were his legacy and the best of him. But drinking Wolf Blood has its cost. They were all binded as one, one soul for all of them, one soul for eternity until it's taken down. Could that be their master's soul? Were they one with the great Artorias? Who knows for how long they stood vigilant, ready to defend and fight against forces of the abyss, taking down dark wraiths and defending against them. But like every other thing, time has defeated them. Hundreds of bodies in their keep, one soul floating from body to body, bringing it back to life, just to be killed by his brother and on and on. Who knows for how long that agony has kept them? Will somebody come to stop it? Will anyone ease their pain? Will anyone stop corruption?